Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Alex Pereira versus Khalil Roundtree Jr. Alex Pereira 11-2, and 4-1 in his last five fights. Obviously the last loss was a year and a half ago against Israel Adesanya. Minus 450 favorite, 37 years old, 6 foot 4 with a 80 inch reach. Fighting Khalil Roundtree is 13 and 5, plus 350 underdog. 4 to 1 for Pereira is a little crazy because Khalil is a striker. 34 years old, 6 1 with a 76 and a half inch reach. 3 and a half inch reach advantage for Pereira. The thing that makes this, this fight interesting is I think in close, Khalil does a little bit better. I think that's I think people are gonna think that's a little weird to say. But like when they're here. I think Khalil does better. When they're here to here, I think Alex does better. You know, so there's those slight movements of as they come together, I think Pereira does better as they come. But once they're here, I think Khalil does better. So it's 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 really one of those things where Pereira obviously has been just continuously fighting. Since that knockout loss against uh, Izzy, he's fought four times. I mean, he fought Jan. Eight months later, he fought a couple months later against Yuri Prohaska. He fought a couple months later and fought Jamal Hill. He fought a couple months later and fought Yuri again. Two months later, it'll be about three months later, he's fighting Khalil Roundtree. I know people keep saying, oh, uh, Ankoliev needs to fight for a title. He's fought nobody. He's done nothing. He's done nothing. 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 He's very boring. Either way, we can all guarantee that there's going to be a finish. This fight's not going to a decision. Otherwise, it's going to be one of the best fights of all time. Technically, it's going to be incredible if it goes past the first two rounds, to be honest. I don't think anybody's going for a takedown, really, at all, to be honest. Um, oh, sorry. You know... If if you look how Khalil has looked in his last little bit of fights, it's kind of crazy where he's can't come from. Nine finishes. He has six of them in the first round. Has been finished twice in himself. He's been finished three times in the UFC, but twice by TKO or KO. No submission wins. Four decision wins. Two decision losses. He's nine five zero oh, and one in the UFC in his UFC rec career. I guess you would say. Five wins in a row. He was eight and five before this run. And in this run, he's beating Ladessas Bukaskis, who's not good. Carl Robinson, not good. I thought Dustin Jacoby beat him, but all right, destroyed Chris Dawkins, and then he knocked out Anthony Smith. And that's what's impressive. Not that he beat Smith, because everybody beats Anthony Smith at this point in, in Smith's career. It's the fact that he destroyed him. Destroyed him. The problem is, is he's fighting Pereira, who's fought nothing but absolute killers in his last, I mean, his whole career, besides, I guess you could say Bruno Silva, but he went to three rounds of war with Bruno. So, Andre Michelides, okay, sure. Sure, his first fight, he, he, uh, um, uh, should have done better, I guess. You, whatever, that's a weird argument, but sure. It, it, again, it's it's so hard to pick against Alex Pereira because how much of a sniper it takes literally one one mistake. But, but if you look, let's take a look real quick. If you look at it, strikes landed per minute five point two three to three point eight four. Pereira accuracy sixty three to thirty nine. Strikes absorbed per minute, 3.51 to 4.18. Defense is 51 to 50. And then takedowns and all that stuff doesn't really matter. But again, everything, of course, tells you Pereira wins this. But there's these moments where they exchange. Like head kicks, head kick to head kick, I think Pereira wins. Strike to strike, technically... Pereira would win, but Khalil has power. So the margin for error for both guys is about this small. Paper, paper thin. I think Khalil shocks the world.
No, I'm just kidding. I think Alex Pereira still retains his title and continues this ridiculous run that he has. But I think Khalil is going to have a great showing. This fight is impossible not to deliver. Impossible. Do I think Khalil has a possibility to beat him? Yeah, 100%. I mean, he's he's a striker. He's going to go right at him. He's going to be throwing crazy hands, crazy combinations. He has sneaky setups for his, uh, for his uh, strikes. He has good kicks. I'm curious to see what Pereira is going to do with that. I think it's great. It's, it's a great main event. It's a great fight. It's a very, very good card. I know people are shitting on the card. There are, people are always shitting on things. Clickbait for one thing. Get comments for another. It is whatever. As always, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know you're picking. Let's talk about it. Peace.